In this video, we're going to we're going to upgrade the Acela Express that's built into Trains 2012, so it can be edited. For example, if you want to change the horn or the engine sound. Now, for some reason, when you try to edit some built-in content on the, on this game. It doesn't let you edit it, and it just ends up being faulty. And I found out a way to fix that on some of the built-in items. Specifically for the Acela Express, the first thing you have to do is download the latest version. This is the built-in version. And uh, this one over here, that's on the download station, that one's more upgraded. And it's actually more edit-friendly. So the first thing you have to do is download that. Oh, wait. Okay, now everything is downloaded and it shows up as not faulty because they haven't been edited yet. And the one that's built into the game now shows up as obsolete, which is what's supposed to happen. Okay, I'm going to use the front the front power car as a demonstration. I'm going to click control shift C to edit it in content creator plus. And now just click OK for this. Okay, the first thing that has to go is the engine sound. That annoying built-in one that does not sound like a real locomotive. I'll replace it with my Amtrak Acela Express engine sound that I made. And now for the horn. That pesky horn that's given to locomotives by default. I'm going to take that one. Replace it with my, uh, where, did I, where is it? Amtrak. Okay, now that the engine sound and horn is replaced like it's supposed to be, Control S to save it. Now it's going to say, hmm. So far, no errors. Now, let's see, where's the mess table? Here we go. If you look in the mess table, you'll see that it doesn't have a preview, and that it displays in yellow. That's that's because it's a PM mesh, and it needs to be changed to an IM mesh because it's obsolete. Why we have to go through all this trouble just to get the locomotive to appear is beyond my knowledge, but that's the system that the game decided to use, unfortunately. Now I'm going to control M to commit this. Now it shows up as faulty, so right click, view errors and warnings, progressive message progressive mesh meshes are no longer supported by trains. Though these meshes may work in trains, it is recommended that you switch to an LOD mesh. To fix that, for both the locomotive and the shadow mesh, Control Shift E, oops, Control Shift E to edit it in Explorer. This is when it starts getting complicated. In the body folder, here it is. Amtrak Acela XHSEL body.pm that has to be replaced with a .im mesh and the shadow has the um, exact same issue. To fix these problems you need to download a software called PevSoft PM to IM. This is um, a software that changes the PM mesh to an IM mesh so that the game will read it. Open this up Okay, the, on the options that it gives you, click on Replace PM with IM. You're not going to need the PM mesh anymore anyway at this point. So, file, open, then you have to go through the folders and look for it. On my computer, it's located in this PC, C drive, program files x86, N3V games, TS12, user data, editing, Acela Express Power Car Front, and then in the body folder. Now just click on the PM mesh and click open, and then click convert. And it's that simple. Now do the exact same thing for the for the shadow mesh. Or you can just delete the shadow folder because it's just quicker that way. Sometimes I, I do that just, just to save time. 
So go in the body folder, click on the body mesh, and then click open and convert. Now in the body folder, this is an IM mesh instead of a PM mesh now. Now, for some reason, sometimes the game actually loses track of these new meshes and sometimes they get deleted by accident. And then all of a sudden the game won't appear, I mean the locomotive won't appear because the mesh is missing. And I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. So to prevent that, I usually right click on the mesh and click copy and then save it somewhere else on the computer like on the desktop. So that if it does get lost, I can, I can just paste it back into the folder. Okay, exit out of that and then control M. Now, control shift c to edit it in Content Creator Plus one last time. And go to the mesh table, where it says default. Now it's in red because the mesh is missing. Click on this, go to the body folder, then click on the mesh, and click open. And now it's there, and it's going to appear in the game after this too. And now for the shadow mesh. It's not really necessary. It's just going to have a warning if this isn't here. If you don't want the shadow mesh, you can just right click on that and click remove. Okay, now control S to save the changes. Exit out of this. And now control M. And now it's not faulty anymore, or it shouldn't be. Now it's no longer faulty, and it has the new horn and engine sound. I'm also working on some new freight train horns for the uh, for this game. So far, I have a CPAC 4400 CW horn. I'm still working on the looping. Plus, the um, the bell doesn't really sound that good right now. I'm also working on a Norfolk Southern Dash 9 horn.